Amy's ballet class started at 4.05. My clock shows 4 o'clock. The hour hand is on the 4 and the minute hand is exactly on the 12. Now I will move the minute hand to the 1 to show 4.05, the time the ballet class started. 5 minutes, 4.05. The hour hand moved a bit past the 4 because the time is now 5 minutes after the hour, 5 minutes after 4 o'clock. The ballet class was 45 minutes long. That means I need to move the minute hand 45 minutes after the start of the class. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. The new time is 450. If we go back to the problem, we can see that Amy stayed 15 minutes for an exercise class. So let's move the minute hand 15 minutes. 5, 10, 15. The hour hand moved to the next hour. Amy went home at 5.05. Let's use a number line or timeline to show how to find the time Amy went home. First, I'll write my start time. Next, I need to add or jump forward 45 minutes. Five minutes, that's 410. 40 minutes, that's 4.50. Now I need to add or jump forward 15 minutes. 10 minutes, that's 5 o'clock. 5 minutes, that's 5.05. Amy went home at 5.05. First, I'll write the time the class finished. The class finished at 5.15. Next, I need to jump back or subtract 25 minutes. Five minutes will be 5.10. 10. 10 minutes will be five o'clock. 10 minutes will be 4.50. Now I need to jump back or subtract six minutes. Five minutes will be 445. One minute will be 444. Sandra's dance class began at 444.